Hello. Good afternoon, friends in East Asia and Australia. Good morning, uh, good morning friends in Europe and uh, Africa and West Asia. Good early morning, friends in North and South America. My name is Roger. How are you? Wish you all good and the current pandemic hard time. Solar energy, our industry, the clean and the ch uh, charming sun can bring us that warmness and hope. It is a pity that we are not able to see each other face to face due to the border restrictions in each country. However, it is great that we can gather online to talk and share ideas. My bed energy is always here, ready to provide whatever support needed from our partners and potential partners. Today, the webinar will take about 40 minutes to get any information about our presentation and product. Please contact us via WeChat, email, WhatsApp, Skype, uh, etc. Uh, in the meantime, my colleague Alisa will be online. If you have any question, you can just put it on Facebook and she will reply you immediately. Now, please allow me to introduce the speaker of today, Michelle Cao, our Director for International Market. She's been working for more than 10 years in the solar industry. Besides solar mounting system, she used to work for the famous solar module company, Rene Solar, which is the Blala company of Jinko Solar. Uh, before the floods are blocked by COVID-19, Michelle flew to more than 20 countries each year, uh, visiting hundreds of project sites and attending more than 50 solar exhibitions with solid experience in solar projects, industry and the market. Let's enjoy her sharing. Before she comes to the uh, our operator will show our contact information shortly. And now let's warmly welcome Michelle. Thank you, Raja. I'm a penguin now. I would love to fly as good as the introduction, while feeling our Earth is better, more solid and reliable. Let's work and work hard. My topic today is to way to help customers to improve the return of investment, ROI our beneficial ground mounting system. I will briefly introduce the topic from following five points. Number one is about the application examples for the beneficial solar modules. Number two, the beneficial technology background. Number three, our beneficial ground mounting solutions. Number four, a short background of my bed. And number five, I will bring you out a short online tour to our factories and head office. And uh, our operator will change the screen to our contact information again soon. Then I will start my formal presentation. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm back. Way to help customers improve the return of investment, ROI. As we know, return of investment is a very important part for our project and any, any industry. Our beneficial solar mounting system will help. So the first part is about the, the examples we use for solar, beneficial solar, modu solar modules. This is a beneficial and type by Fisher Solar Power Plant installed in Netherlands in the year 2019. And as we can see from the photo, it is a kind of a fixed system. And, uh, audiences, you can please try to check and uh, think what is the main feature of the by Fisher Solar Modules installed with the fixed system. So the big banker also think world's largest rooftop using beneficial solar panel is worth it. This is a 2.5, 2.8 
megawatt rooftop by visual solar panel installation, also installed in late 2019. In all, earlier in 2018, a 100 megawatt PV power plant was, was uh, selected in Taiwan with power cut by visual solar modules. And the famous Spanish developer, Enel, they have uh, selected bifacial PV modules as most of their projects de developed in Southern American countries like Chile and uh, Brazil and Mexico. And uh, we can see the total capacity is more than one. Sorry, the lines lost a little bit just now. Uh, Okay, so let's start again. This is the information we collected from PV InfoLink that the most of the solar modules launched this year from the top 10 solar module brands like Jinko Solar, like JA Solar, Longi, China, Ryzen Energy. Most of them are around 500 watt, and some of them are higher than 550 watt, like uh, Jinko Solar, they have just launched their Tiger Pro at 580 watt. And most of them put bifacial technology as a very priority and with a kind of very good option to achieve the higher output of the power to help customers to also get higher ROI. So the bifacial technology, this is the information we collect from Longi. As we can see, the energy yield of bifacial solar module can be influenced by Albedo, height of module, GCI, and DHI. The most important two factors we need to consider when we design the mounting system. Firstly, is to consider the height of the bifacial solar module, which is recommended to be higher than one meter. And the shading should be avoided from the bracket and the junction box. So this is also the factors we need to consider to help the customers to improve their ROI. And the bifacial pop technology is a kind of a cell that we change the aluminum back surface field to aluminum grid, then the render the, the majority of real side transparent, which enable the cell to absorb light and generate electricity from both sides. As we know, the traditional or the standard solar modules, we can only get the generation of electricity from the top of the solar module, not from the back side. And uh, General information collected from Longi that the reflecting light percentage from different surfaces, like from water, is around 10%. From grass, is 15 to 25%. And for the surface, like if we put some reflective films or on some snow field, the reflecting percentage can reach 75 to 90%. This is very good to help the project to get better return of uh, investment. All right, that's great. Sorry, the line is lost a little bit just now. This is our first time to do the online webinar, and I hope our partners and audiences can give us some more patience. Thank you. So about the Elbedo, as I mentioned in last page, it has been considerable to gain on grassland or dry sand, especially in snow field. So the most suitable surfaces to install with the bifacial solar modules currently we can consider like the traditional ground with uh, sand or the cement on rooftop or on the ground and also some uh, some uh, natural land like with grass. And the module height should be considered at least uh, one meter. 
means the ground clearance should be higher than one meter. And another, info, another part of information we have uh, collected from the top one supplier of solar module is Jinko Solar. Jinko Solar had done some real tests in their factory located in Hainin, middle southern of China. They have uh, get the conclusion that on different kinds of surfaces, the, the output we can generate more from the beneficial type of solar module is like this. On water is around 5%. On white paint, like on the metal roof, is around 90%. And in the between, we have sand, cement, grass. As I mentioned just now, the most suitable places to put on the beneficial solar module project. For the generation times, Jinko Solar also had done some tests and get the conclusion that the beneficial type of solar module can get much longer generation times comparing with the standard module. And we can see from this, this table, especially from the middle of the date, from 6 a.m. to 3, 3, 3 p.m., sorry. So the third part, I will formally introduce our ground mounting solutions suitable to fix the bifacials. We generally have uh, two types of uh, fixed uh, ground mounting system, which are suitable to fix with the beneficial solar modules. First type we name with PGT2, which is a kind of a single steel ramming pile post solution. And uh, the several factors we need to consider very carefully when we design with the beneficial, Because as we know, if we design with standard solar module, we only need to consider the wind, wind load, the weight of the system itself, some snow load, and the installation areas. Then we can get the calculation about the strength. We can put the post distance, the rail distance, the beams distance, at any kinds of spacing we like. While for bifacial modules, because we cannot arouse any shading on the backside of the solar module. So distance between the post, distance between the beams become very important. Also the height of the solar module, as I mentioned earlier, around the technology part that should be at least one meter from the ground. And for traditional ground mounting system, actually we only need to consider like half meter is enough to save some uh, material cost. So the two main features of this solution, firstly is using ramming pile. The installation is very quickly because we can use in ramming machine and the, the, the ramming pile can be ramming directly into the soil there will be no need to get any more connection from top of the ground to the post. And the secondly, it's about the distance between the beams. We should be at one panel's length as an interval or two panels as an interval. And from our current uh, calculation from our engineer team, the most cost-effective way is using one panel's length as the edge, and then two panels as an interval, then one panel as an interval, then two panels as an interval. And our, so our bifacial ground mounting system have been already supplied to markets like, like South Korea, Japan, and some European countries. The feedback is quite good. If you want to get more information, please feel free to contact with our sales team. So some main technical data about our PGT2. Design standards, we have most of the international standards available, like the G's for, from Japan, the NJS uh, 1170 is from Australia and New Zealand. 
and also the IBC 2009, and also the British Standard, Eurocode, American Standard, etc. So our warranty, our standard warranties for 10 years, and our solution is applicable with uh, both framed and frameless solar modules. The panel layout could be put both portrait and landscape way. So next solution I would like to introduce is named with PGT4. PGT4. The foundation way is different. We can use ground screw foundation or concrete foundation with this solution. And above of the ground, the structure could be all aluminum or all steel. And also the two factors we need to consider. We, one is about the height of the solar module, the whole structure, then the distance between the two posts and two beams. And the one more adventure of this solution is that we can pre-assemble the beam, the post, and the braces in our factory. And also the fixing point is exactly according to the project design, project by project. So when we deliver the cargoes on site, the workers only need to open them and fix the screws on site. No need to measure the length, the, the length from the end to the post, the length uh, from the brace to the, to, to the post. This is very helpful to save the installation time and the cost. Also, a way can improve the ROI. So the, our ground clearance recommended could be half meter to two meters. So no need to consider, no, no need to worry about whether the minimum one meter could be achieved, which could be very easily achieved. So to get the project to be designed, we also will provide a very detailed checklist for our partners and customers to fill in. After this information are collected from our partners, our engineer team will start to prepare the design with very detailed design drawing and also for proposal will be provided. So next part, I would like to take some minutes to briefly introduce our company's history. Our company is established in the year 2012, and uh, the total capacity we have supplied till the year 2019 is 6 gigawatt. Our current annual production capacity for fixed ground mounting system and rooftop, ground, rooftop mounting system is 3 gigawatt. And we also have our own floating system factory. The annual production capacity currently is around 300 megawatt. We have more than 2,000 projects referenced globally. We are ranking top 10 brand for the mounting system. And for floating system, we are ranking top three. We have more than 20 certificates from different professional institutions. We have more than 50 domestic and international patents. And our cargoes have export to more than 100 countries and regions. So this is our head office and the factories building locate. Our location is in Xiamen in the southern China, very close to Hong Kong and opposite side of Taiwan. Except the head office, we also have our subsidiary in Japan and Australia. I would like to take some more minutes to show some uh, project reference we have installed with our fixed racking system for the ground. Like the first one is the is a six megawatt, which was installed in southern Australia. A five megawatt installed in Cambodia. A one point seven megawatt installed in Japan. Two big ones installed in southern Vietnam, a 61 megawatt and 50 megawatt. 
and like 20 megawatt, which is installed with the concrete pile project. A 51 in Qinghai province in China, a 30 megawatt in Jiangpu, a 30 megawatt in Japan, South Australia again 3 megawatt, and a 50 megawatt in Qinghai. So exactly the ground mounting solutions, actually our, we also design different types of uh, carport system. Carport system is also very suitable to install with the bifacial solar modules. As we know, the ground clearance for carport usually will range from 2.2 to 3 meters, which is uh, more, which is higher than the traditional ground mounting solutions. And it's actually, it, it is more suitable to install with the bifacial solar modules. The distance is more than five meters, or we can consider like six meters, which can pack two cars and three bifacial solar modules. Okay, that's all about my uh, presentation today. And the next round, the host today will will deliver some uh, questions that he co collected from the audiences. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for your in incredible sharing. We learned a lot from this. And during your speech, I collect some typical questions from the audience, and I would like to have your answers for this. Uh, question number one, how can we get a full solution design for bifacial solar project? Wow, this is a very good question. Yes, uh, we have uh, around uh, 20 salespeople in our team to support the international market's demand. So you can feel free to send the emails send the messages to us or even call us. Okay, that's cool. It's a very uh, valid in information for us. And the second question is, how long can we expect to receive the design and the proposal? What is the lead time and the delivery time? Wow, wonderful. Are you really want to know? Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, I would like to separate to different uh, stages. First stage is uh, after we collect the project data from our partners, we need to supply the full proposal. This stage usually will take about two to three working days. And the second stage is about the production lead time. Usually our general production time for the ground mounting solutions is around 10 to 20 days. It depends on the capacity. We love big projects. If, if big project will take a little bit longer, but if around like one to 10 megawatt, usually we can supply very quickly, around one week to 10 days. And uh, the third stage is about the delivery time by sea to your sites, to your destination ports. To different area of the world is different. Like to East Asia, to Southeast Asian countries, usually will take three to ten days. And uh, to Australia, to Middle East, to most of the big ports in Northern America, uh, to most Europe countries, it will take about fifteen to twenty-five days. And if to more far away places like African countries, like Southern American countries. It will take about 35 to 45 days. All right, got it. You know, this is a very detailed information, and it seems like I would like to place the order right now. Okay, And great. Uh, one last question. So could we know more about MyBit Energy? What is uh, the capability for design, uh, production, uh, quality control, pre-sales, and after-sales support? Wow, this is a hard one, very hard one. But don't worry, uh, we understand that most of the customers would like to see 
by Yuan to our factories before, but now because of the COVID-19, most of the flights are blocked and the border restriction is very strictly. So now I could bring a short online tour for you to our headquarter and office, uh, headquarter office and factories so that you can see our capability for the design for our team, for the production capacity, the quality control, etc. Okay. okay, our operator change the screen to the contact information again. I will, I, I will bring you to our head office and factories very soon. Wow, okay, I'm here. <laughs> I'm in front of our office building. As you can see, this is the office building. This is our gate. And now we start to enter our office building. We go to the reception desk first. This is our reception area. Reception area. And we have two TV shows, the projects we installed around Xiamen area. The live operation and live generating electricity volume of those projects. So we go inside the office area. We have two corridors here. One corridor is to our sales department, our meeting room, our supply chain office, and also our owner, the president's office. And next corridor is to our engineering team, our HR department, our marketing team, etc. So let's see our engineering team, the support for the technical part. We have around 30 engineers, and most of them are very professional people who, was work, who, who worked in this area, the solar industry, more than 10 years, especially our chief engineer. His name is uh, Ya Ping Chen. He's sitting here, which you can see him soon after COVID-19. So our meeting room, uh, in our meeting room, we have our honorable certificates from different institutions. This is our sales team. Our international sales team, we have around 20 people to support all the pre-sales, the project questions. Some video to show you about the real office. You can see the sales team, international sales team. This is Roger, <laughs> our engineer team. Engineers are doing the design, shopping, yapping. So next part, I will bring you to our workshops. We have uh, three workshops doing the machining like punching, like cutting, like doing the screw lines. This is the first workshop. Bring some video for you to see more clearly. The punching machine, the cutting machine. So in this first workshop, we basically produce some um, smaller components like the connectors, like the joiners, clamps, etc. And then we go to the second workshop. Second workshop also do most of the smaller components like the tilt-in nuts, like the middle and end clamps. So a video to play to see again, the cutting machine. 
a cutting machine, cutting the middle clamps. And uh, this is a automatical machine to produce the middle clamp and the nuts. The punching machine. So we go to next workshop. The third workshop, as we can see, the area is bigger than the previous two, and we mainly produce the bigger pro products like the paste for the ground mounting system, the beans here. I play a video for you to see more clearly. The punching machine. We have a lot of pen punching machines in this workshop. So next workshop is our assembly workshop. We have uh, four semi-automatic assembly lines here. I play some video. Assembling our C clamps for the ground mounting system. And we also have, have two manual assembly lines for the small components. We have around six assembly lines for the big parts like the ground mounting system. As I mentioned earlier during the presentation, our past beans will be assembled together. Usually, the longer products we will put on the wooden or steel pallets like this. And for smaller components, usually we are put in the paper cartons. So as we know, except the production support, quality control is very important for our sustainable cooperation and sustainable supply in the market. I will show some uh, critical parts of our quality inspection. This is, this is a spectral machine which can test uh, the components of steel, of the alumina, the main material we, we use. And also the spray test machine which can test uh, the anti-corrosion of the surface treatment like the stainless steel or the anodization of the alumina. The last factory is our solar floaters factory. Give you a general view about the factory. We have uh, three lines to produce the big floaters like the walkway floater the main floaters here. And we also do the live inspections in the factory. We do the re records after the, after the inspection. A short video about the warehouse the factory of the floaters. So this size of a stock can support around one megawatt. One megawatt of a floating system installation. As you can see, it's a lot. So it takes very big volume 
for the containers to load the floaters. This is the one of the feature of the floating system currently. So last two part, I will bring you to our showrooms. This is our outdoor showroom, mainly showing our ground mounting system samples and also the floating system samples. I play some video for you to see more clearly. So the floating system, a G4S, and the flat single axis tracking system, the greenhouse, the tilt single axis tracking system. Then we have a, a lot of different aluminum structure system for the ground, ground installation. So I would like to text the chance to introduce a little bit more about our PGT2 and PGT4. This is PGT2. The composition of the PGT2. Very important, you ship steel post and the connectors, the pre-assembled support, the rails, clamps. the installation steps of the PGT2. So the post can be running with the machine very easily. Okay, I stop the uh, video here because it takes too long time. If you want to have more information, you can contact our sales team to get more information. And uh, the second uh, pro the solution I would like to introduce a little bit more is our PGT4. The other solution is suitable for the bifacial solar modules. So PGT4 composition of that. The main difference is the post. We use ground screw, except the ramming piles and the installation steps here. Using the screw machine. And the basis to connect with the ground screw. As I mentioned just now, uh, beams, posts, and braces are pre-assembled. We only need to open them on site and fix with screws, saving the cost, also improve the ROI. So last part, I would like to bring you to our showroom for the rooftop samples, our indoor showroom. A video to help to see more clearly. We have uh, different solutions for metal roof, for tower roofs, for flat roofs. The clip lock, the tile hooks for the... We have different rails, different triangle system for flat roof. This is the whole view of the sample room. As we can see, we have different uh, tile roof system here, different metal roof system here different flat roof, the triangle system, the non-penetration ballaster system. Different rails here, different tripod. We also have an adjustable system for flat roofs and metal roofs. Okay, that's all about our tour to our factories and our office. And our operator will help to change the screen to the contact information again. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. 
what, what an incredible sharing again. I really learned a lot from this. And thank you for the time our partners spent with us. We hope that if you have any question for the Martin system, no matter whether it is for the virtual solar project or other Martin system, you can come to us. And in the next few weeks, we will launch more webinars. Please stay tuned with us on Facebook. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.